We found a tin and some boxes. Nothing really useful. Seriously? No food? Jesus. How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. I don't know. If we'd just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. But you told him to mind his own goddamn business, right? We are guests here, and we don't need to be overstaying our welcome more than we already are. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. Hey, uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? Okay. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. How do you put up with him? Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes, I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just... he's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much, and lost... pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. And don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him. Do you get the feeling something's going on here? What makes you say that? What exactly happened at the camp? Uh, it's nothing. Uh, don't worry about it. Paranoia just getting to me a little bit. I know what you mean. These backwoods people always give me the creeps. If you ask me, we should just get our dinner and leave. Come on now. We don't want to be rude. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Yeah, and we don't need you poking your nose where it don't belong and getting us thrown out in our asses. Looks like a feeding station for the cow. Having a crop like that on hand must be great. We're gonna need to learn how to maintain it if we end up staying here. Lots of hay. Ugh, enough of these might work as adequate cover for arrows, if that becomes a problem. It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay. Go ahead. Whoa! Katya says Mabel could have her baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Did you lick it? I don't know. Have I missed anything? No, not really. Hmm, <laughs> it smells funny in here. Like duty. <laughs> Kids. Hey there, Andy. Yeah? How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. Um, when do you think, uh, 
We might eat. Hungry, huh? <laughs> Don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he probably talks a little more than he ought to. Thanks. Yep. She looks skinny. Here, Clementine. My hat! You found it! I knew you'd find it. You said you would. Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor inn who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee, do you think you'll ever have kids? I'd like to someday. Maybe a little girl like you. That's nice. You'd be a good daddy. Well, thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. Hey! Just stay close to your mom for now. Okay. Empty. It's a feeding trough. Looks like a bunch of old dirty clothes. Ooh, smells pretty foul. found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor, what'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Hey, Lee, you know how to pick a lock, right? No, 
Why would you say that? Well, you're, you know, urban. Oh, you are not saying what I think you're saying. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. Hmm. What? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? Just checking out the barn here. Never been to a dairy farm before. Just don't roam around without me or Danny. The farm can be a dangerous place. You know, the bandits and all. Sorry about your friend. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, Mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. I picked up something I think could help with the lock. All right. Good to hear. Any thoughts on how to distract Andy? I don't know, man. Just look for something outside of the barn. We need him out of here. So, how does a woman like yourself run this whole place? Oh, I managed just fine. Plus, I had my boys to help out. I couldn't do it without them. how to fix this if something goes wrong. But clueless about this stuff. There you go. Ow! Damn it! The thing is moving fast! Dad, dinner time! It's dinner time! Okay, honey, let's get that. Dad! Dad! Come on! Let's eat! Kenny, come along, honey. Kenny, come on. Don't make the children wait. I'll make an excuse for you. Get that thing off.
Boy, didn't you hear the bell? Dinner time. Why was there so much blood in there? Look, we have food here, but Danny and I still gotta do a lot of hunting to keep everyone fed. When we catch something in the woods, we skin it and dress it back there. Mama doesn't like us to make a mess in the house, so you see, nothing to worry about. 